I think the strongest ability in the game is Sona's W, and the second best is Janna's E. And no, I'm not kidding, and also the strongest item is Ardent Sensor. So this is about support recognition, and the problem, I don't think it's a problem, I'll get to that later, but the issue is that some things in League are much more clearly communicated when people do them than others. Like, there's a much more obvious expression of skill and of impact on the game. So, to take Sona as an example, her auras are super broken, especially her W. But people don't really notice. Like, to get the Pog Champs in Twitch chat, you need a very obvious expression of skill. Like, wow, Sona flash ult and won them the game there. Or even just with items, like, Sensor is ridiculously strong. But Lock and Redemption are more telegraphed. Like, their impact is very obvious, so people notice them more. And there are some supports like Thresh, where when you watch a Thresh do something right, you're like, oh, immediately, like, oh my god, that guy is a god. But obviously not every support is a Thresh or Bard or whatever who makes big highlight plays. And in fact, the meta right now, apart from Blitz Thresh, I think support is a very supportive role, for back, lack of a better word. Like, what that means is you have these champions who mainly just don't make big plays. Like, if I was to make a Janna montage, it would mainly just be pressing E. Um, and on Beyond the Rift, they were talking about like the problem of support recognition. Like maybe there should be fireworks every time Soraka heals you, or there should be a little text that says healed, or I mean, I'm not even sure how this is feasible, but a statistic that records how many times you get saved, or even like a play of the game at the end, except it's only for support. And they were suggesting this stuff because Riot's been trying to increase support recognition. Like I think they added like a vision score and total healing or shielding or something. But honestly, I don't think any of this is necessary. There's already a metric of how much you do to win games, and that's your LP. And all other metrics are meaningless. And I haven't looked at vision score or total healing or whatever once. Like, I know I'm doing something right because I have 670 LP. And if I healed 9 million HP but lost every game, then I'd be messing up. Because the goal of support, the same as every other role, is to win the game. So all this support recognition stuff is pretty pointless. Um, the one justification I could see is apparently at lower levels, lack of support is the biggest issue with queue times. And maybe some bells and whistles could influence people to play support more. Um, I think they could just do IP rewards or something for playing support, but whatever. Anyways, I mean, it doesn't hurt for them to add all these pointless metrics, but I, I think they're pretty pointless. Like, rank is the only indicator you can take without context to see how much you do to win the game. Like, everything else that you might see in a match overview, like, it might be fun, but it doesn't actually tell you how well you played.